To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are chosen to do great things, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Sharing the Good News, September 21st. Christ's followers to differ from the world. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. As we read the word of God, how plain it appears that his people are to be peculiar and distinct from the unbelieving world around them. Our position is interesting and fearful. Living in the last days, how important that we imitate the example of Christ and walk even as he walked. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The opinions and the wisdom of mortals must not guide or govern us. They always lead away from the cross. The servants of Christ have neither their home nor their treasure here. Would that all of them could understand that it is only because the Lord reigns that we are even permitted to dwell in peace and safety among our enemies. It is not our privilege to claim special favors of the world. We must consent to be poor and despised among men and women until the warfare is finished and the victory is won. The members of Christ are called to come out and be separate from the friendship and spirit of the world. Their strength and power consist in being chosen and accepted of God. The world is ripening for its destruction. God can bear with sinners but a little longer. They must drink the dregs of the cup of his wrath unmixed with mercy. Those who will be heirs of God and join heirs with Jesus Christ to the immortal inheritance will be peculiar. Yes, so peculiar that God places a mark upon them as his, wholly his. Think ye that God will receive honor and acknowledge a people so mixed up with the world that they differ from them only in name. It is soon to be known who is on the Lord's side, who will not be ashamed of Jesus, those who have not more courage to conscientiously take their position in the face of unbelievers, leave the fashions of the world, and imitate the self-denying life of Christ are ashamed of him, and do not love his example. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are chosen to do great things, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a chosen generation called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace.